fakeness. It's a gift. It's a blessing. Hello students. Welcome back to Nadia's University of Sexiness. And today is a new week, it's a new lesson. And what we're gonna learn today is how to look thicker. Girl, you're thicker than a bowl of oatmeal. Thicker than a bowl of oatmeal? Hey, hey, she had a fat ass. Normally, I do have the body shape of Spongebob. Spongebob was my favorite cartoon growing up, but I didn't want to look like him. I really didn't want to look like him. So I adopted some tips and some tricks over the years to make myself look a little bit thicker. Sometimes I am shaped like a fridge, but there are certain things that you can do to make yourself look a little bit thicker. So a little disclaimer here that we are all sexy as hell. Like we are sexy as hell, doesn't matter if we're skinny, thick, fat, whatever. We're sexy as hell because that's in the mentality. I realized for me, it's very difficult to attain a smaller or thinner or skinnier body type because I've never been. I have always been fat i have always been fat bitch like people have told me that i was fat growing up when i was in grade four what is that like nine years old i was already 140 pounds i've always been fat i have always been big and tall for my age when you're always in the back row in the middle of the class photo you know bitch so you know that you're big okay and i knew that they made me know that the boys that i grew up with were like no one will ever like you because you're fat and I said, fine, whatever. Maybe that's true, maybe it's not, but you know what? I'm so sexy as hell though. I'm so sexy as hell though. And now that thick or curvy or whatever is like the body trend right now, they wanna look like us. They wanna look like us, bitch, I'm not gonna lie. But anyway, that's a little bit of my background growing up fat. <laughs> We're gonna talk things about clothes and poses and feeling really good in our own bodies. So let's go. Let's talk about poses first. So as you can see, I pose like this most of the time. Even like this, even like this. Sorry, that's inappropriate for a professor to do. Hold on, let me fix my professor glasses. So ladies, poses are everything if you wanna look thicker. The thing is, some of us aren't really thick. Like I said, some of us are shaped like SpongeBob. Some of us are shaped like a cutting board. Some of us are shaped like a harmonica. I don't know, I don't know. But there are certain tricks that you can do with your body to make yourself look a little bit curvier, okay? So here we go. So I always put my shoulders back. Like I said, that's very important. If you watch my other video, you know it's important to have your shoulders back and to have good posture because it makes you look and feel more confident. Shoulders back and I have my chest out. And I always pop a hip, bitch, pop a hip. And then always kind of like have one foot over the other, like this. And now I look so much thicker. Boom, boom, boom. And honestly, suck in, man. Suck in like you've never sucked in before. So this is my body doing a pose. Yes. And make sure you really pop that hip. Okay, so this is me normal. I'm just standing. And I don't have a lot of fat on my hips. It's like literally hip bone. But if I pop a little bit like this. Shit, she's cute though. Oh my gosh, she's like looking a little thick though. And then when you're on the side, sometimes I'm like this. Ladies, we can't go like this. Shoulders back, chest up. And then you have to push your booty out because thickness is all about booty. So you pop a booty out. Do I want to stand normal? Or do I want to kind of go like this? She's kind of cute or something. That is your pose when you're standing, when you're trying to attract your boo. Make yourself look like you have more of a curvier hourglass look. But in real life, I look like SpongeBob. If you see me in real life and I look like a fridge, mind your own business. Just act natural, act natural. If you see your crush, just act natural. You can even go like a little bit of this, even like this. Even like that. Yes, queen. Yes, queen. Oh my god, you guys want me? To okay, let me do some sitting poses too. So, ladies, to sit thick. <coughs> oh, this is how I would sit. It's hot. That's why I always look greasy. To sit thick, you're just going to. How do you sit thick? I'm gonna go like cross your legs if you want. Maybe on this other side. Suck in, man. Suck in. And then you're just gonna sit. 
so thick. But you know what? Sometimes her stomach is so big. So I put my leg up to hide my stomach a little bit because she be looking hella roly. So I would sit like this. Sometimes I go like this. Oh, she's looking so good too. Look. These are some clothing tips that's gonna make you look so snatched. In real life, if I take off my clothes, I'm I'm like blubby. I'm blubby. What is like the whale fat called? Blub? Is that what it's called? Blurb? Not blurb. Hey Siri, what is whale fat? Good afternoon, Nadaya. How's it going? Nadaya. What the fuck? I don't know how to respond to that. Hey Siri, what is whale fat called? I found this on the web. Blubber, right? It kind of spills out. This is some stuff that I do that kind of keeps my fat snatched. For example, my current outfit. This shirt is so tight. It's so tight, yo. If you can tell, like, it's hella tight in the waist area. So what it's gonna do is it's gonna make your waist snatched as hell because it's just so tight that it acts like a corset. So here is my top in real life my waist is i'm probably like this like a like a square spongebob but because this top is tight here that it literally cinches at the waist and makes me look hella thick this top is from aritzia i got it from the warehouse sale the fabric of it is actually really important because this is kind of like it's very stretchy i think it's supposed to be for sports so it's like spandex like it's hella spandex so when i wear this you know I'm hella snatched. And then for the bottoms, ladies, high-waisted is everything. When your stomach bulges out, by the way, if you see me in public and I look pregnant, mind your own damn business. Sometimes my stomach is just literally like that. So high-waisted will make me feel so much more secure and so much more snatched because they end right in the smallest part of your waist so in conclusion wear a cropped shirt that end in the smallest part of your waist that are tight as fuck and then wear high-waisted pants that end at your waist as well and as you can see these shorts make my booty look good in my opinion they make the booty pop in my opinion like it ends right where the booty stops i was actually sweating trying to get into this so another outfit that i do how i dress really is gonna make myself look thick if you know from my other video you know that i love off the shoulder tops why because it makes me look a lot curvier and a lot thicker what off the shoulder tops do is that it accentuates your chest and your shoulders so what it does is it brings out this area and then brings in the waist because there's a lot less attention going on here it kind of makes you look like you have a v-shape here it's all about the illusion ladies it's all about the illusion with that sometimes I wear jeans I usually just wear leggings like I just love wearing leggings because I feel like it looks the best on me but if you want to make your legs look a lot thicker light wash jeans are it ladies these are from Topshop they're called Joni jeans and they're hella tight the thing is sometimes you can see my stomach but you know what if my stomach offends you, you shouldn't have clicked on this video. You shouldn't have clicked on my channel because my channel is all about my stomach. So if this offends you a little bit, it's just part of being thick. Sometimes we have a little squish. I'm so squishy. Sometimes that's why I kind of look pregnant. Like I said, mind your own damn business. Eee, look at my stomach. TBH though, like my stomach has been bothering me because sometimes I can't breathe. Okay, let me take this off. That's how you know it gets serious. When I was growing up, being thick was not it. Like, being fat was not it. Having fat was not it. I honestly like the thick girl thing going on right now because I just feel like that's more of like a body positivity type thing um, because I dealt with a lot of insecurity with the way I look and the way my body looks and how it jiggles and shit okay? and I still do to this day but I like how we have been accepting of more bigger body types like I know I'm not like the biggest girl but I'm also not the smallest girl even though I'm not the curviest person like you know what I'm saying like thick and curvy it could be different depending on the person and depending on what your definition of thick or curvy is I'm on a self-love journey and that includes my skin which I'm also insecure about but also like my figure it can get really difficult to accept yourself but these are some of the things that I'm doing that makes me feel so sexy bitch like I'm like Wait a minute, I'm not even ugly. Like, I'm not ugly. A lot of the other girls that I know now and back then, even if they were in a really healthy way that they wanted to get smaller and skinnier, it's not really that easy to do that. Your body has to do with your genetics with your diet, with your lifestyle and everything like that and sometimes when you do everything that you can you still can't attain a certain body type. Remember you guys, comfortable is sexy. Self-love is sexy. Self-acceptance 
is sexy so that's all i have for you guys today in this video i said this is me this is what i do to make myself look a little bit cuter i feel good like i feel i feel really good this is professor nadia thank you guys so much for attending my lesson and i'll see you guys in my next video whatever that will be i feel like i want to make a video on how to be confident because confidence is sexy but if you guys have any suggestions let me know because i definitely want to know because i don't have any ideas so please let me know please i'll see you guys soon um and take care